music historian and he's a podcast host. The podcast is called Hotepish and Incense and Ashtrays. Give it up for our brother Dewan B. What up, y'all? What up, y'all? How y'all doing? Y'all good? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's beautiful to see y'all. This is beautiful. So, what's up, Jay? What's going on? DC has nice weather, too, not just in LA. You know? No, this is. LA was cold. It was cold. I don't know what happened. Like, I'm like, when I left this morning, it was like, brr. I'm like, this fat is for beauty, not for cold. I don't know what that was. Like, jeez. I don't know what that was. It just feels like LA. But go ahead. Absolutely. Really grateful to have you up. You've been really vocal about our lineage based reparations, especially on Twitter, on your podcast, Instance and Ashtrays, and also Hotepish, which is your brand. I just want you to um, talk. Mississippi State Governor came in and said, due to unforeseen circumstances, yeah, your slave master freed you and you will, but we ain't letting it happen. They had land in not just Mississippi. Not just Mississippi in the 1850s was the richest, some of the richest land in America. My family would have gotten that land. Since we didn't get that land, they had to move up to Benton Harbor, Michigan. And when he invented the automatic railroad crossing, he had to sell it. What if he had that land that was passed down to him and he had the money from that land? And then when he invented the automatic railroad crossing, who would have funded it? Us. Okay, us. I'm the fifth generation that would have been profiting from that investment. So when we think about it, if we go back in our families, all of us have a grandfather ago when black actors were talking about getting our money and making more money. What did they do? They brought in Africans and people from across the diaspora. And no disrespect to them, but they went on to work for slave labor. We ain't. Exactly. It's time to get our check. Exactly. Cut the motherfuckers. Thank you. Before you go, uh, give a couple words of encouragement to our brothers and sisters to, you know, so that we continue to persevere in this movement because it's not always a smooth ride. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing because this is a multi-generational effort. Cash reparations is just the first thing. That's first. <laughs> like, this is a down payment, you dig? We gotta pass this on to our kids because you know what? We gonna get them the cash. But then we gonna need city, city cash reparations. State cash reparations, uh -huh. federal, uh -huh. Local private towns. businesses, all of those Hollywood gold. reparations, education there reparations. We, we need all these reparations. Day. We need more reparations than Al Sharpton got and, heard. And we repair. need reparations. Tell us repair. And so it, it's a continual process. We as a people got to keep pushing it. It's a lot of love in here. I feel the love. I love y'all. And make sure we do this. When we talk about approaching with love that doesn't mean letting somebody kick your butt love means loving yourself to the point to where you won't take what they have to give you love means treating other black people and forgiving other black people the way democrats forgive white folks that's love and love each other love yourself love your family and i love you Right. Please listen, brother. Oh, follow me at Dewan B on Twitter. Oh, at Dewan B is on my YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. It's all the same. At Dewan B, InsensinAstrays.com. I'm talking to 400 years of Black American music. I put my documentary together. It's called Bigger Than Hip Hop: Black America's Cultural Influence on the World mm -hmm. for the last 400 years. Because mm -hmm. when they cut it off to hip hop, they leaving out 350 years of our greatness. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta know that. I love y'all. Awesome, all the way from California. Next up, also from California, we have...